this is very straightforwardly communicating that their life or their son wasn't important enough to be considered a crime when it was extinguished. After an investigation by Quebec's independent police watchdog, Quebec's Crown Prosecutor's Office announced police officers in Repentigny, just northeast of Montreal, who fatally shot 37-year-old Jean-René Olivier in 2021, will not face charges, leaving many in Quebec asking for more to be done to hold police accountable. They get to go back to their families and, and live their lives as fulfilled as they so choose. But here you have the Olivier and Ben's family that are never going to see uh, their loved one again. Olivier's mother, Marie Merel Benz, called 911 in 2021, worried about the safety of her son who was in mental distress, hallucinating and holding a knife. She hoped to get him to hospital, but instead he was fatally shot three times in the stomach by officers. It just sends a message to the black community that, you know, if your life gets taken away by one of our officers, it's business as usual after a couple couple of years. Olivier's family in a statement to media say they're deeply disappointed by the decision. Olivier's mother says, I will be overwhelmed forever by the loss of my son because no one will ever be held responsible for the untimely death of my child. The statement continues to say that this decision is interpreted as a message that black life is not taken seriously in Quebec. It is also important to put in place adequate mechanisms to investigate police-related deaths. Something Rutland says the Bureau des Enquêtes Indépendantes has not been providing since its mandate begun in 2016. Not one of their investigations for police killing has resulted in any charges being laid against a police officer. So we're not even talking about convictions here. We're talking about there hasn't even been any charges laid. De Bellefeuille says close to 50% of calls to 911 in Repentigny often revolve around cases where an individual is in mental health distress. You would think that this particular municipality would be more eager to sensitize their officers. They need to be able to recognize those signals without pulling the trigger first. Rutland adding there needs to be alternative intervention options available to avoid tragedies like this one. Lots of cities are moving towards civilian squads uh, where people are unarmed. They're well trained to deal with distress like this. And those people deal with these cases all the time and they don't kill people. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.